So you see, today we are talking about a very powerful tool, uh, local symmetries. So uh, you see, while I'm drawing here, I'm creating tiny little rosettes that seamlessly fit into my overall drawing and by that uh, creating what I always call a local symmetry. Some, uh, well, small mandala sitting inside the rest of your drawing you created before. So how does this work? Uh, let me undo a few strokes here so that I can explain with that example from scratch. So you open the symmetry menu and in the symmetry menu you have a button that is called local rosette and if you activate that you get a tiny menu down here and in this menu you will essentially have all the options that you usually have uh, for a mandala. So you see this little rosette that appears here, you can move it to an arbitrary place and change the number of repetitions. So let's do a high number of repetitions now. Uh, then you see, uh, usually when it is in edit mode, uh, then you can move it and change the number of repetitions. And as soon as you uh, go from edit mode to a draw mode, then it's only shown as a kind of faint guideline. And then you can draw with this particular settings of the mandala. This is an extremely powerful tool. And I want to show you a few applications of that. So uh, let me erase that drawing here. And uh, let me even go uh, to uh, ordinary symmetry. So let's take the uh, six fold uh, mirror symmetry, planar ornament, uh, and let's first draw, well, something here. So you see here in the uh, ornament, you have this uh, usual six fold repetition that you know from the ornament. Now you can say, I want to have a local rosette. And this local rosette should be say way more then six fold and in the state where you still can move it, uh, it snaps to the symmetry guidelines. I have to show you that. So let's uh, turn on the symmetry guidelines. So as soon as you move to a mirror axis, uh, it sticks to the mirror axis. And as soon as you go to a rotation center, it sticks to the rotation center. And so now locally, we turned our rotation center, oh, let me erase my stroke, uh, to a 12 fold rotation center which won't uh, repeat with a 12 fold symmetry all over, but it gives you a nice uh, local thing here. And then you can say, well, uh, let me move my local rosette to a different place, take this three fold thing here and turn it into a six fold symmetry. And uh, then, okay, I have to go into drawing mode. You have a local six fold symmetry and uh, just with a few strokes you can uh, create ornaments of an amazing complexity so let's go to the two fold thing here and go say to four symmetries here uh, then okay i think you get the idea and let's now let's turn it off and take a different stroke and connect those things with some different strokes. And you got that marvelous pattern here. There are a few points that I want to tell you. Um, so let me erase everything again. Uh, and let this time uh, take an ornament pattern that does not have any mirror lines. So if you activate the local rosette now, uh, well, it repeats the uh, symmetries of your uh, chosen symmetry group. So if you don't activate a reflection mode for it, you see it will also have 
only rotational symmetry. If you want, oh, I like that here. I, I just leave that. Uh, so let's move this thing to a different place. Uh, if you say in this place here, you would like not only to have rotational symmetries, but also reflections, uh, then you say, okay, for the local symmetries, I also activate the reflection. So you see it turns from red to blue and the blue lines are now the reflection lines. And with that, you can draw with reflection symmetries. There's even one more important thing you saw. It snaps automatically uh, to that point here. So uh, if you don't want to have this snapping, uh, you can uh, turn off the ma magnet here and then it won't snap. But I usually always use it with a snap. Here is a little extender triangle, and if you turn that on, something really crazy happens. Uh, then you get uh, local symmetries of local symmetries. So let me play with that for a moment. Let me move uh, our local rosette to that place here. Uh, and let's move that here to... Uh, point that is larger than one. What you see now is uh, you get this additional yellow star and you can rotate this yellow star and uh, you can move this yellow star to a different position. And now you get local symmetries of local symmetries. And I have to show you what you get. Uh, so here you have uh, eight-fold symmetry and here you have a five-fold symmetry and you see you can draw local rosettes around local rosettes uh, which is really uh, extremely powerful. Now let's turn this feature off again and finish this drawing with something in the interior just with okay something like that. And you see, you get a sky full of stars uh, here. Uh, so uh, this feature is extremely powerful. So I really recommend you have to play with it. You have to get experience to it. Uh, one important drawing tip, uh, always draw close to your local rosette. Otherwise, it will get completely uncontrollable. Uh, so far for the moment. Have fun with this feature. It's a really powerful feature. Keep on doodling and see you next time.